I think there were a lot of questions because the government hadn't approved of vaccinating pregnant women and uh, breastfeeding women. Till recently, the breastfeeding women were approved. And recently, about three, four days ago, the government said you can go ahead and vaccinate pregnant women also, even though the vaccine is not licensed for use in pregnant women because studies haven't been done on pregnant women. But having said that, we realized that the mother's health is more important than the health of the baby. It is very important that if a pregnant woman has a higher risk of complication and the chances of complications with vaccine is going to be very minimal, which is what we have seen so far, she definitely needs to be told and a vaccine needs to be offered for pregnant women. One other area where there is some concern is the role of vaccines in people who may not be able to respond well. As I told you, we know that the immune response is based on the body's immune system and people, as I said, who may have had a cancer, people who are on immunosuppressive medications like steroids for whatever, for transplantation or autoimmune conditions, even vaccinations may not be able to boost their immune response. So there are studies available. A recent study in the New England Journal of Medicine says that in this situation, instead of two doses, if you give three doses of vaccination, the antibody response is much better. So I think we are still learning. We will be coming across situations where we have had problems and by applying what we have learned from other diseases, we should be able to tackle them better. Oh, 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 oh,